Hey what's up you guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. On this channel I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Guy family and if you're returning here to my channel then welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit more of a casual one. I have just finished filming a couple of videos and as you can see my makeup table and my filming area and just my bedroom in general is quite a mess. So in today's video, I thought it would be a good idea to take you along with me as I clean up and tidy my area. That will also give me a video idea and not only that, it's actually encourage me to get it done. Because usually when I've been batch filming, my table looks like this and it stays like that for a few days until I can motivate myself to clean it up. So yeah, that's what today's video is gonna be. Come along with me, motivate me to clean up my makeup table, my filming area, my bedroom in general. You also get to see a little bit of my filming setup. It is nothing fancy, nothing huge, as you will see. It's a very humble little space that I have right here, but all of that is going to change very, very soon. I have some exciting news, which I cannot share just yet, but I will very soon, so this setup is gonna change soon-ish. Hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to help me clear my makeup desk, my filming station, this area in general, come along with me and watch the process, then uh, yeah, just keep on watching. Before I go any further, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. Without further ado, let's get this mess cleaned up. I don't think I need these lashes on anymore. I'm just going to rip them off. Oh, that feels so much better. Ugh, I don't enjoy wearing lashes, but this look kind of called for it. So yeah, anyway, let's do this. Okay, so generally this is what my makeup table looks like after I've been filming a few videos. I do try and tidy up as I go, but actually, and this isn't as bad as I have had it on various other occasions in the past. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna put some music on. You guys can clean and tidy with me. This was on the floor. I know it looks really, really messy right now, and that's simply because I have a glass worktop through which you can see all of my makeup under my desk. So basically, I'm gonna explain to you the little setup that I have going on right here. I know it's really, really messy, but this little container here, which I keep underneath, the desk here. This is where I keep the eyeliners, the lipsticks and the lip liners, and the little stick shaped things that I use very, very often, that I reach for very often. Things like my eyelash glue, my lip balm. Sometimes I will just chuck things straight in here so that they're not like little pencils laying all over the desk at any given time. I'll occasionally go through this and sort out things that I haven't used for a while and things that I haven't reached for very often. Also, I'll sort out things that I have used in the past and haven't reached for in a couple days or in a couple filming sessions and I'll put them away in their respective places in, in those containers that I have right there. So basically, I'm going to go through this container, sort out the things that I don't use, throw out the things that need to be thrown out, and just get it down to a small pile in this container again, so I can very easily find the things that I do use very, very often. So I don't know, I have a few pens here, I don't even use those on my face, I think I just had them to make notes for when I'm filming, so I'm going to take those out. I'm just going to sort through this and take out some things and tidy up this space. So this was just a bit of rubbing alcohol that I've got in this spray bottle and I'm just gonna clean the outside. I'm gonna clean the outside of that container, all the fingerprints. Put that under here. So I'm gonna put away these lipsticks. So basically in this little container here are the things that I reach for more often than other things. I'm just gonna sort a few things out of here that I have not reached for in a while.
Now here I just have my little area of skincare as well as out the back here I have a bit of skincare. So again, I'm just gonna clean that up. Got a highlight here that can go into this container of things that I use very often. And these are the things that I have taken out to put away into their respective places because I don't use them very, very often. And that's that. This is my container of brushes. I know they look dirty, but I actually just washed them and that's one use. So I'm just gonna leave them here, use them another few times before I wash them. This is a container here of some affordable drugstore skincare that I'm trying out. So that's why I have it up here on my desk. When I did my skincare routine video, I realized that my skincare routine for myself is so expensive that it's not sustainable, especially since I'm uh, planning on buying a house. So I've been trying out some more drugstore affordable skincare from Chemist Warehouse and I'm gonna be doing my review video on these products soon. So that's why I have that up here on my desk because I've been using them and trying them out. I am gonna wash that before I use it. Don't think I'm a grotty, gross, dirty makeup artist because I'm not. I've just used it and I'll wash it in a minute. Now this container I have up here because this is full of the products that I shared in my Tati Westbrook Made Me Buy It products video. So these are things that I've just got in the container from that video and I've just gotta put them away. These can go in the bin. Bin. desk and just tidy up and dust a little bit under there. It's going to be a little bit tricky with the camera angles and the way that you can still see everything that's going on here. Uh, so yeah, just bear with me. So this is basically just my bowl of RCMA No Color Powder. I put it in this bowl because the bottle itself is really really awkward to try and get the powder out of so i tip it into the bowl and use it from there but because i have used this a couple times and i'm just going to tip that one out and clean the bowl out so i can put fresh powder in there for my next use here i have my highlighters i'm going to dust that off a little bit in this container here i have my blushes loose highlights and a few more pressed highlights in this container here, I have all my ColourPop highlights. I just want to rearrange that so it looks a little bit more neat. This container here, I have cotton swabs and cotton pads. In this container here, I have my hair stuff, my tweezers, my eyelash applier, my glasses lens cleaner, a pair of scissors, some blue for when I glued down my eyebrows for my drag queen makeup tutorial, um, a razor, some hair ties, a clip to keep my hair out of my face. So basically that's all the little bits and pieces container that isn't makeup. Up the back here, I have more rubbing alcohol, some setting sprays that I don't use very often. It's not very messy because obviously it's up the back, I can't reach it very well. So here I just have a few more face products, some face toner, um, setting spray, um, some more face toner, my super uber expensive Black Pearl Gravity Black Mud Mask from Jericho Cosmetics. Here I have my container of double-sided tape, some eyelashes, phone ring light thing, which I think is flat of the battery. I don't even use it anymore. Yes, that's just where I keep my falsies. I don't have very many, and they're, the ones that I do have aren't very nice ones. So yeah, I don't use them very often. I have some makeup sponges. In the container underneath, I have my makeup primers. I don't use these ones very often. I know that the Photo Focus Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer is really good. The NYX Angel Veil makeup primer is really good as well. I just don't use these ones very often. That's why I have them up back there. In this container here, I have makeup sponges. I use these triangle makeup sponges for when I'm doing like SFX makeup. 
so I don't ruin my actual makeup sponges. I have a couple Morphe sponges. I haven't used this one yet, but the one that I have used is kind of feels really hard. So that's why I haven't cracked into this one. These ones don't actually expand a whole lot, so I don't know why I've kept them, but yeah, I just have them back there. These ones are Chi Chi sponges. Chi Chi sponges are actually really, really good, and I love those ones. I have a container of nail polish remover and some nail polishes here. I don't polish my nails very, very often because I suck at it and I don't have the patience to sit still and wait for them to dry. And back here I have some more highlighters, the Salvaje palette collection, my Bretman Rock 2 eyeshadow palette collection. I, I need to sort this out, like I need to organize my makeup in a way that everything is together in the one spot, but um, yeah, that's that's for another day. And I also have my little container of Stila Magnificent Metals glitters. I absolutely love these glitters. They are so freaking pretty. I actually also need to take my Stila vault out and put them in a container like this, but, but I'm waiting to actually unpack those when I have a nice shelf and space to display them, which I don't have right now, but hopefully I will have one very, very soon. That's all the stuff I have here underneath my makeup desk. Just nice and organized trying to keep it clean and tidy and dust free which doesn't always work so yeah that's basically my makeup desk all tidy now I'm gonna bring you around to this side of the room where I have this delightful little space right here that obviously needs a bit of dusting and organization so yeah I'm just I'm just gonna do that <laughs> I have this palette out because I want to do a makeup tutorial using it. I know it's been out for a little while, but I haven't actually used it in a video yet. These are just my travel containers, but I absolutely love this brush container. This one was from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brush collection, and I bought the whole entire brush collection, but I absolutely love the case. Look at it. Like, it can fit so much in it, and it's solid. Like, your brushes ain't going anywhere if you have them in this container. And I got this little makeup bag from Target. You're meant to take the cardboard out, but I left the cardboard in because the bag itself was a little bit flimsy. So I just left that in there and I'm just gonna put that in there because when I travel again, I'll know I'll use them as a pair. So I'm just gonna put that away in one of these drawers down here. My James Charles palette, I have it out because like, I use it very, very often. I still have the carton. I like to keep makeup packaging. I know, it's really dumb, but I have been able to do some DIY things with them before, which is why I like to keep them. These are all my eyeshadow palettes. I kind of like to keep them stacked up here just like books. So I have my Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes right here, my Natasha Denona palette, and my ColourPop palettes right there as well. Mm, These containers are about as organized as they're ever going to be. I just need to give everything a good wipe down here. I'm not going to use rubbing alcohol because obviously I have varnish on the shelf itself, but I will use a bit of rubbing alcohol on these acrylic containers here. I still have my L'Occitane Advent Calendar, which I absolutely loved. It was so much fun to open something every single day of the month leading up to Christmas. L'Occitane, while it is very expensive, it is one of my absolute favorite skincare brands out there. It's definitely more of a boutique skincare type of brand, but if you want to spoil yourself, definitely go out and check L'Occitane. I absolutely love it. I haven't actually taken them out and put them away because it's just, I, I just love this whole entire calendar and I just want to have it like sitting here all the time. So I'll just like leave that sitting there. Um, and then this little L'Occitane box, which I also bought around Christmas time. I still have this one out. I need to like find a home for it. But I love the little L'Occitane things. Like look at these little samples. Look how beautiful they are. And it smells so, so good. But yeah, I need to find a home for these. But this one for now, I'm just gonna pop in the drawer. Out of sight, out of mind. And now I'm gonna just wipe and dust all of this down. Okay, so this is my makeup setup now that like everything's nice and tidy. So this is just my acrylic containers. I have highlights up here. This is my special effects paints and makeup and contact lenses, foundations, concealer, uh, receipts for all the makeup that I have bought, bits and pieces, backups that I haven't opened or used yet, brushes, brushes, brushes. 
eyeshadow palettes. Now, this is like my favorite area. I love my eyeshadow palettes. This is where I keep all those little sample sachets of makeup and skincare. This is another container of just bits and pieces. I really need to do an organization video where I go through all my makeup, pick out the things that I don't want that need to be thrown out or donated or given away or sold and just like organize everything because I have a few drawers here that's kind of like, oh yeah, that can go there and uh, it's not really its proper home. Glitter eyeshadows, ooh, one of my favorite drawers. Liquid lipsticks, ooh, Ofra, another one of my favorite drawers. Milani, eh, they're okay. Colourpop eyeliners, that one's there. Colourpop lip liners and other lip liners. Lipsticks, 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 and more lipsticks. You guys, I have a lipstick collection video up on my channel if you want to go check that one out. And again, this here is my makeup desk that I have tidied up and it's looking so much better than it was before. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I know I'm gonna enjoy this tidy little space here once again, but I already know that after one makeup application, this whole area is gonna be like messy again, but yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, that's basically it for this video, you guys. Thanks for coming along with me and tidying up my room with me. I hope it motivated you to maybe tidy up your own makeup space, your makeup desk. I know these places get very, very messy very, very quickly. After one makeup application, there's like powder and brushes and products and palettes absolutely everywhere. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Guy. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I really, truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! This is a container of some skincare that I am trying out. This is a container here of some affordable skin... This is a container... This is a container here of some affordable drugstores... So yeah, that's basically my... Ooh, that's not a good angle at all.